Hey everyone, welcome back to How To Be A Poser. Today, we want you to believe, and to help you with that, we're gonna be working with the Agent Mulder's six scale figure by 3-0. Let's get started. All right, here it is. The Agent Mulder six scale figure by 3-0 comes with pretty much everything you would expect from an FBI agent. All these accessories, his ID, his cell phone, a couple of different guns. Can't wait to see what I can do with what we've got here. So let's get started. Okay, Agent Fox Mulder with us at last. This is really looking slick. Loving the fabric on the suit, it downscaled nicely. So many tiny little accessories. So the hard part is just gonna be figuring out which ones are going to look best. And I guess to that end, all you need to do is be thinking about what your memory is of Agent Mulder. Now, for me, my memory of Mulder is not of him having a buttoned up suit coat. So I'm going to start by very gingerly getting these buttons undone. Yeah, this will happen, but you really have to work with them, dudes, and just figure out which system works best for you. What I'm doing is I'm kind of tugging down on the jacket while simultaneously lifting up on the button with a thumbnail until the bottom of the button meets the opening of the button hole. And then it just slides right through the hole, but it's pretty snug. So just be careful with it. Nobody wants to break off a button. Okay. So having gotten that undone, we can see that his coat, his shirt's a little bit rumpled down there. So I'm going to, I'll just lift that tie out of the way so I can show you what I'm doing. I'm kind of pulling it around to the back of the waistline just so that I can get it to fall more naturally. All right, so we've got that done. So I just want him for this first pose to be showing off his badge. That's my memory of Mulder. Every episode, Mulder's walking up to some hapless victim and uh, identifying himself. Okay. This is the hand I think that you want to use for showing off that badge. Let's get it up here. And here's the... Okay, so once you get that in his hand, then you get an idea of, ex idea of exactly how it's going to fall. So let's just slide that in there. Now I think that just to give him a little bit more character, I'm gonna pull these, um, pull this suit back and just, let's get that hand into, is there a pocket? There is a pocket. That's great. Mulder is so casual. I'm, I'm just still trying to work this hand into the pocket there and you know, I'm just not having a great deal of luck with it. So instead of just putting the whole hand in there, I think I'm just going to just put a, uh, hook his thumb into the pocket, if I can. Oh, I think that his pants are falling down too much. I think that's what's creating the problem. I'm pulling his pants down as I, uh, tugging down on his trousers there. So that's uh, sort of having an undesirable effect. All right, now get some suave David Duchovny action going on here. And just working with those feet just to kind of make them look natural. Now notice again, See how those things are just, those pants are just not breaking properly? That's on me. I need to work on pulling those things up a little bit more. And just get them up high enough on his waist so that uh, they just fall, the pants fall naturally on the feet there. Of course, doing that, you just have to readjust the shirt and make sure that it's falling a little bit over the, uh, the top of the pants. And then correct that hand, get that thumb back into the pants pocket. And then don't have the, uh, the shoulder riding up. You have to correct for that. So just make sure that shoulder's dropping down. He's got his hand in his pocket because he's just wanting to lazily rest that arm. He's not going to be raising his shoulder. That's going to kind of defeat the purpose. Kind of keep that tie behind the other side of the jacket. And then twist that torso just a little bit. Think, uh, think runway model when you've got a figure like this. Just think some, just think of somebody walking a catwalk and with a showcase in a new line of suits. Okay, I think one of the things that you'll want to make sure that you're doing is whichever direction that uh, FBI badge is looking, you're gonna wanna have his head looking the same way. All right, so that, that's him. That's Agent Mulder, that looks good. Agent Mulder, FBI. <laughs> 
Fox Mulder's a pretty shrewd dude. He's also a really big dork. On top of it all, he also happens to be an FBI agent. Even with all those qualities, he manages to remain astonishingly low-key. This is the sort of figure that allows you to hit all of those points, and to do so in such a way that's very, very subtle, and very, very Fox Mulder. Hey, did you like that video? Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under Product Info. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.